Welcome back to a very special edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Bursich. Now, we all know Justin Jefferson had an unbelievable 2022 season, but what goes into that? Is it just the greatness of the receiver himself? What about the people around him? The scheme, the new coaching staff, the new offense? Well, let's take a deep dive the way only Film Room can and let you know exactly why Justin Jefferson had an incredible 2022 campaign. Well, one of the first things we found at Film Room was there were a lot of great JJ plays in 2022. So how are we going to split them up? How are we going to talk about them? Well, we figured out middle closed and middle open is the way to go. Now, what does middle closed and middle open mean? All we're looking at is whether or not there is a safety in the middle of the field. If there's a safety there, it's middle closed. If there's two safeties deep, neither of which are in the middle of the field, it's middle open. Let's take a look at how we attack this and how JJ just brutalized teams that wanted to sit there and play middle closed against them. On this first one right here, first notice a reduced formation. All the receivers, everybody's inside the numbers. And once you reduce a formation, it allows you to do some things down the field and some themes start to pop up. The first of which is this. You're gonna see both of these receivers run vertically. And what does that do? It clears out this zone. It clears out this area of the field and makes the defense have to bring somebody over onto the other side. And that's a very difficult thing to do. You see JJ at the bottom of the field. Now he's working his way over. And he, all he's gonna do is work behind these two receivers that are clearing the route for him. But there's another piece to this puzzle. Right here, Irv Smith Jr. Irv Smith Jr. is working his way into the flat, into this area. Why? Because you want this linebacker to bite the cheese. Remember, this is a rookie linebacker. You want him to bite the cheese, play the short route. There's no way Jair Alexander or anyone from the outside is gonna be able to cover JJ all the way across the field. Linebacker steps up. I mean, Justin Jefferson, the best receiver in the league, nobody within 15 yards of him. That is some creative, creative route running, creative route design, and great execution. Now, people often wonder about all the motions and shifts and those different things. Why do they do that? Well, initially, this is a bunch set. Three receivers up top, close to each other. They can run all different types of combinations. But they decide to motion Justin Jefferson, and that, do that doesn't allow for these guys to do a lot of time to think because right before the snap of the ball, again, here's that reduced formation again, okay? so. Get everything set up. We're going to see the same thing. Two receivers up top, clearing this zone and allowing JJ to get all the way across. This time it's a little bit different. Why do they want the linebacker to jump up? Well, they take Dalvin Cook, work him through the offensive line to get him into this flat. This safety, this linebacker, excuse me, he's turned, looked here. JJ is going to be smart. He's going to run like just a pick right off the backside of this linebacker. Corner trying to cover them. They collide, fall down. Again, wide open by 12 yards against the middle close defense. Now, first thing you're gonna notice on this play is, coach, this is middle open, right? Two safeties deep, just a disguise. Watch the safety lay, because he's gonna work himself down into the box. Pre-snap read, what are we seeing again? Reduced formation, three receivers up here. JJ's tight on the bottom, right? Again, a little bit different this time because you're going to get one deep receiver, but instead of crossing somebody or the running back into the flat, they're going to use Adam Thielen, but it creates absolutely the same effect. As JJ gets across this field and you see this corner vacating to cover Adam Thielen, it just opens up this part of the field. And also great protection. No one's anywhere near Cousins. Gives him time to drift, let this play open up, develop, hits Justin Jefferson in stride, catch, add another seven, eight yards of that one. So again, it's a clear and the crossing route. All right, another way of attacking middle close defenses. This is gonna be a little bit different. You have Dalvin Cook up top, JJ's right here in the slot, and you can see what Cousins is seeing, right? Deep middle safety, a lot of open areas in different spots, but the key is the move that JJ puts on this nickel defender. He gets to that outside shoulder, which allows him to get up this seam. Dalvin's just running a little stop route, and that's just eye candy for this guy. He's gonna sit. But what that does is it opens up this whole sideline up here. Now look back, Cousins has already thrown this football. Cousins knows exactly what defense he has, right? Man-to-man -man right here, man-to-man -man right here, deep safety, 
No time to get here. Just absolutely not enough time to get here. Cousins knows right where he needs to throw it. He's already thrown this football. JJ is just barely open, but by anticipation, arm strength, accuracy, gets that thing right in between the nickel and the safety on the money in stride, and it's a huge play for the Vikings. Okay, so what we see here is a formation that's pretty similar. Again, reduced up top. JJ is not quite inside the numbers, but he's on the numbers, and it's what they've done in the past. This is a play off of a play. Right? The Lions know what the Vikings have been doing and doing with JJ, and that's clearing a zone, sending him across, but they go next level on it. And this is a beautiful example of it. You see the snap, you got the play fake. At this point, we've already seen this, right? Receiver, he clears, JJ works himself across the field, and you can see where this corner is sitting. He's not above his shoulder, he's below his shoulder, and he's getting ready to undercut this throw when JJ breaks across, but not so fast. Cousins rolling out, he's gonna stop. This is not a typical rollout play like we saw earlier when he hits JJ at the numbers on this side of the field. Cousins plants his feet, but watch this move that JJ puts on, not just this corner, but the safety. Turns his shoulder, wide open. You have no chance, one-on-one -on -one in space, corner has absolutely zero chance taking care of JJ and then the run after the catch is there as well but just beautiful architecture to get him open all right so we've seen JJ cross the field we've seen JJ bend it back to the sideline they just don't know what to do and it's difficult now to cover JJ with two defenders and this is a perfect example of just his physical skill this is a skill play this is not a move play this is just the speed of Justin Jefferson the first thing you notice is that when this ball is snapped this nickel defender is on the inside. He's trying to take away any low, shallow crossing route by JJ. He's gonna give up the outside, but take away anything across. But you'll notice this free safety back here. He's not looking up top. He's not look he's looking right here at Justin Jefferson because they know that's the guy that they have to take away. But watch this. JJ gets up to about the 40-yard line, and here is that spot again, right? The corner inside. Safety over the top. Is he going to go across the field? Is he going to plant his foot and like the last play and work his way to the sideline? Neither of these guys know and hesitation kills you in this case because JJ just turns on the Jets. Look at this throw right on the money over the shoulder. It's damn near impossible to stop this guy in open space. All right, against the Miami Dolphins, we saw a lot of single high safety, but they played a lot of man to man and it took our coaches a little while to figure that out before they ran the perfect route for it. And this is the perfect route for man-to-man -man coverage. Again, middle closed, safety's deep. You have man-to-man -man on these three receivers, these DBs on different levels, so they don't run into each other. But we're gonna do this. We're gonna take Adam Thielen, work his way in, and then KJ Osborne, work his way in. And what does that do? That allows a really, a, just a pick for Justin Jefferson and a lane with which he can run. So you'll see JJ at the snap, he's shuffling, works on Thielen, gets himself down the sideline. Again, there's that space between the inside defender and the safety, ball's thrown perfectly in stride. JJ's able to bring it down and almost score a touchdown. If you know what defensive coverage the opponent's going to be in, our coaches, our players, they know how to pick it apart. So initial alignment, it still means a ton. Again, look at this formation, reduced. Adam Thielen is way in here. He's not out here at the numbers or on top or near the sideline. You have all of the receivers, everybody, inside the numbers. Why do they do that? Well, as a defender, you don't know if, if JJ or Thielen are gonna, is gonna come down and crack. You don't know if he's gonna run block so they can attack the sideline, or are they gonna take you down the field with the pass? It's all that balance, right? The balance, and so it doesn't allow the defenders to, to anticipate any one thing in particular, and if they do, you can make them pay for it. But what it does do, by reducing the field, opens up this section, opens up this section, and this is how we attack it. A little differently this time, not with the clear and the cross, but you'll see both these defenders are outside. They're outside Justin Jefferson down here, outside Adam Thielen up here, and right where you can't really see him, but right here sits a free safety. They wanna funnel everything inside, protect the sidelines, but look at Justin Jefferson down here. It's just like a D-line play, right? We've seen with Dexter Lawrence. Oh, we've been talking about it all year. That left hand is on the right arm 
of that DB. And he's gonna take that arm, push it in, swim, sprint to the sideline, perfect throw, big catch. Very, very hard to defend Justin Jefferson. Okay, so we've seen middle closed in zone and we've seen middle closed in man-to-man. -man. The next segment is middle closed blitz. But one thing's for sure, if you're a defensive coordinator and you decide to blitz with JJ on the field, you better get there. Because if the offense can block it up, it's gonna be a nightmare. Exactly what we're gonna see on this play. Okay, they're gonna send their two outside linebackers, basically five guys going. This corner knows he's one-on-one -on -one with JJ, which is why he's giving them that 8.8 yard cushion. You can't survive doing this. You're not gonna be able to make a living. This is how easy it is. Two backs in the backfield, play action. Cousins gets to the top of his drop. Look at how much room is open. These linebackers are up in. There's just too much room here for Justin. Corner is way, way too deep. This is an easy throw and catch, perfect spot where JJ can catch it and then make a move, not take the big hit and get the first down. Another example of a middle closed zone blitz. This time we're getting a little bit of help, but it's the anticipation of the quarterback and JJ that makes this thing work, All right? New England Patriots. Watch KJ Osborne, he comes in and checks, but he's gonna leak himself out into the flat. And Cousins knows when he works himself outside, he's gonna pull out this underneath defender. And it's actually this defender that needs to get into this throwing lane. You have a deep third corner, he's way, way too far off. But look at the space that this opens in the middle of the field. And Cousins, look, he's already getting ready to throw that football. He knows right where to throw it. Hits JJ in stride, and that's key because you have a missed tackle there and another eight, nine yards. So if you don't get there on the blitz, you're gonna pay. This is a classic blitz pre-snap read. You have 10 New York Giants at or near the line of scrimmage, and you have this one safety way back here. In fact, he's so deep, they call him the angel over your shoulders. For these guys up front, in case they miss, you've got somebody back here to make a tackle. Now, watch what JJ does. There's a couple things that are key here. The middle of the field is closed. There's a lot of area here, here, and then in the middle of the field. This initial move by Justin to work himself inside and then get to the outside. And what does that do? That keeps this defender inside of his shoulder. And Adam Thielen's just gonna clear this zone out and we have this room right here. Watch Cousins. He's already throwing this football. That's the key. He's not waiting for Justin to get open. He's throwing him open. He makes this move. There's no one out there over the shoulder. Had to come back for it a little bit, but a great throw and catch. Again, man-to-man -man blitz. All right, another pre-snap read, right? Reduced formation. One, two, three, four, five, six giants to line of scrimmage. Play action, suck up these linebackers. Again, look at the distance that we have here. But what we're seeing that's a little bit different is that deep middle safety who normally plays center field just like a center fielder in baseball, He's cheating himself this way, and his eyes are only on JJ. And we'll see as the season goes on how much these free safeties just start concentrating on him and these catches turn into big hits. But for now, play fake, Cousins, top of his drop. He's already getting ready to throw this football. It's just too easy. If you blitz and don't get there, you're gonna get burned deep with JJ. Now with Washington, they tried to be a little bit fancy, given a look to confuse Cousins, to confuse the offense. They have a deep middle safety, but he's way down over here. And the problem is, is that JJ is way, way up here. They've got no chance on this. But watch this move that JJ puts on the slot defender. He's gonna take himself up the field again. Here's that little curl route to open up this space down the field. But with the speed of Justin Jefferson, he can run by there and there is nobody. I mean, nobody. This guy's way, way too low. Losing coverage for disguise, you can never do that. You don't wanna disguise it, put yourself out of position. This guy's out of position. This guy has no chance because he's one-on-one -on -one with JJ in space. That ball is already up in the air, hits him in stride, and if not for an ankle tackle, that would have been a touchdown. Another example of disguise, and this is where having a smart quarterback really, really pays off. Looks like you've got middle open back here, but this free safety on the snap of the football is gonna insert himself down low. And this guy, again, the disguise, but he's coming from, again, this side of the field. JJ's way up here. He's got to make, and he's never going to get there. But watch this move one-on-one. -on -one. This is right after the Detroit Lions game when everyone was saying, oh, we got to jam him at the line of scrimmage. He can't get off the jam. Watch this move that he puts on this corner. Snap of the ball, little stutter move, 
We know this area right here is gonna be open. Just turns on the juice, runs right by him. Cousins hits him in stride, and yet again, another ankle tackle to save a touchdown. Now you can see why defensive coordinators the night before playing JJ don't sleep well. You wanna put an extra guy in the box to stop the run, slow down Dalvin Cook. Well, it gives him a lot of room to operate in the back end. Justin Jefferson is a force. You combine him with a quarterback who can read, anticipate, and a coaching staff that knows how to draw up some deep over routes and get him explosive. Whew, I wouldn't want to coach against him.